So did you get it? Yeah. Just figure it out? How long did it take? How long does it take us to assess the other women in our lives? <laughs> right? No, really, how long does it take? First question, right? Three seconds. Three seconds. Very good. Anybody else have an idea? Okay. Excellent. It takes the first millisecond for our brains to assess whether we're safe or not. That's instantaneous, right? Three seconds later, and three is one, two, three. That's a long time, right? We think three seconds is no time at all. Three seconds is a long time. What goes on then in our brains at that point is, okay, is she like me? Because people like people who are like them. People are comfortable with people who are like them. So, is she like me? Do I have anything in common with her? And can I match up? How do I rate? in terms of that. Now, my other program that I do in um, my other life, I'm a gender communication expert. I spent the past 50, past 15 years studying the differences between men and women. And I'm going to throw in a little bit of the instinctive stuff underneath what happens in terms of what our image does for us. But here's the thing. People judge us and make decisions about us literally within the first three seconds. And if we are not saying what we want to say, or being how we want to be, showing up in the world in a way that we're getting the reaction that we want, we have to work harder in our lives to get what we want. And who wants to work that hard? Right? So the question is, who do you want to be when you show up? Now, there's a reason I think that our eyes go this way, as opposed to this way. I think our eyes go this way so that we can focus on what's important in front of us. However, what I want to do is cause it so that we are being reacted to in a way that we can be proactive. Most of us go through our lives reacting. Did you know that? We're just reacting to how people are treating us. And we go into a meeting and we go, oh, I really hope it goes well. Really? You're going to hope it goes well? Oh, I hope I look okay. I hope my hair is okay. I hope they don't notice that chipped a nail. I hope, I hope. Really? I mean, let's, let's not spend any time hoping. Let's create our reality by this, because let's face it, you guys, we are very judgmental human beings. This, by the way, this is very politically incorrect, what I'm talking about. You know, I mean, this, a lot of this is going to be really politically incorrect. It's not cool to talk that men and women are different. It's totally not cool to say that, although we are. It's not cool to say, well, you know, what you look like is going to determine how much money you make how much um, status you have, how much credibility you have in front of your audience. And I'm not talking about an audience whether you're in front of 200 people or an audience of one in a meeting or an audience of students if you're a teacher or a patient if you're a nurse. Whatever it is, how you show up really matters. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the four components that make up your initial image. Okay, How to create an image <coughs> with impact. Okay, The four components are on your first handout which is the one that you get to write it. So, they are intention, clothing, body language, and touch. So here's what I want to do with the intention, okay? Everybody think about three adjectives, positive ones, please, that you would use to describe yourself. Who are you in the world? How do you show up? Now, people always say to me, Carolyn, it's different every day. Great. That's great. But who, what are the three major adjectives that you would use to describe who you are in the world. Okay? For a quick example, okay, just because sometimes you need an example. When I was in my 20s, I was a model in New York City. I was a plus size model. I was one of the first plus size models in Boston. I was with um, the Heart Modeling Agency in Boston when I moved to New York City. In 1984, when I graduated from college, you can do the math. It's fine. I'm not going to tell you, but do the math. And then um, I moved to New York City, and I was with um, the Ford Modeling Agency for 20 years in Manhattan. And when I started modeling, the, the three P's for plus size model were pretty poised in proportion. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> pretty poised in proportion. Okay, so then I hit 40. By the way, just when I hit 40, what showed up for me, and I want to share this with you, is this phrase showed up on my 40th birthday. Anybody here hit 40 yet? It doesn't look good. Okay, good. So when I hit 40, what showed up was the time for covert operations is over. <laughs> It is what it is. It's not what it's not. 
and I'm not going to hide it. I'm going to take it out, I'm going to work it, I'm going to dress it, I'm going to live my life, and it doesn't really matter what other people think beyond what I can control. So the three adjectives that shifted for me when I turned 40, we went from pretty poised and proportioned to peaceful, powerful, and prosperous. <laughs> Okay? Those are the three P's that I live in now. So those are the three P's that underline everything that I do. By the way, in that order, peaceful, which is why I moved from New York to Denver. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, powerful. Because if we're going to show up, we have all of this energy, we have all this power, we might as well use it. And prosperous, because I don't want to have to worry about it. Right? So, everybody think about what are your three adjectives that you would use to describe who you are and how you show up in the world. And write them down. Now, if you can't think about what they are for yourself, how would your very best friend describe you? What three adjectives, if I asked your very best friend to describe you, what three adjectives, probably she, would she use? Okay? And then, if you need one more, Come up with three adjectives to describe the woman that you most admire in the world. Okay? What is she? What are her?